Thanks for staying tuned. You are still watching Ivran Devrig, and now it's time to talk money. Yes, our money series continues, and as so many Nigerians are trying as much as possible to have several streams of income, we'll be discussing tips on how to set up low or no cost businesses. Joining us now to discuss this is Blessing Ajishafe, an entrepreneur and a business coach. Welcome. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. Yes. Um, so l let's talk about this. Um, how can one set up a business that costs very little to no um, amount of money at all? Okay, let me start from my own. Um, okay, I've been doing this business since like six years. Okay. So um, I usually go to the market to buy my stuff when I get customers. But immediately I give this. I, I've been selling at home without not going to the market. So what I would do is that probably I would just put a picture of my status or Instagram. I would have customer. So what I would do, I would just call them at the markets. So the very first thing is just for you to know the person very well before trying this. So I'll call them at the market and tell them, okay, I want to get this. You understand? So they will get it for me and I'll tell them to use their dispatch rider. That's all. I don't need to spend anything or transport to go there or stress myself to the market. But I then, do everything at home. But then how were you able to start up your business with little or no money? Because now a lot of people, with the state of economy in Nigeria, people do not even earn much. The money is the end and not even enough for their own upkeep. And there's also a need to have multiple streams of income, which is very important, especially in a climb like this. So looking at someone, for instance, someone earns a hundred thousand naira and needs to have multiple streams of income. And he or she's asking himself, what would I do? Things have increased, prices of goods and commodities are, have skyrocketed. So how will I be able to have another business with this kind of cash, as little as it is? Okay, um, how it helped me is, uh, well, okay, I, I, I started with, let me know, like, I started with uh, 5,000, I will not lie. 5,000 so what I did Naira. Was, yes, 5,000 Naira. What I did was, I had friends that sells online because most people want to sell what you want to sell. So what I did, I, I spoke with a few of my friends that they should please, um, can they um, lend, like give me numbers of sellers, like all these retails, um, those people that sell clothes or other markets. So she gave me, I have like two people out of all. So they gave me their number. So I chatted, I chatted them to add me up as, okay, I want to resell. You understand? So, which they did. So, they used to send me pictures. I, okay, I started with boxers, actually. Yeah. I started with boxers. So, that day, I, after I got it at home, I did a video. I posted it. That was how I started. Normally, I wanted to try to know, to be sure. Because most times, you know, your audience matters. Mm -hmm. Like, customers on your online and everything matters. Instead of boxers, so I just noticed that okay, people first of all, people's response matters. You understand? Okay. You can't just say you want to sell something and all of a sudden people want to. You have to show interest, showing them that okay, oh, you have it. That's the most important thing. You don't need to tell them by okay, I have. So I just started without boxers, honestly. I did it before you know one or two people. Well, how much is it? Ah, okay, well, I just have to put. Use like 200 now to sell it. That's as your profit. The attention, yes. So that was all I did, and that was it. Okay. So um, you know, try having customers this by little. Okay, so apparently, um, you delved into the um clothing um business to to start that way. But are there other um businesses one can start that way as well, aside clothing? okay uh of course we can do like handmade i have a friend that's that made she used to make a bag bags um pores palm she does that you understand she started with just two i can remember i was part of people that advised her that she should don't worry she can make like she can move forward with that so most times more people want to you know go to people like getting something foreign like they don't support when it comes to handmade i will not lie to you if you want to compare um, handmade and uh, like uh, foreign something like outside the country or something, like probably want to get slides or shoes, like people would rather buy 
outside than buying what you're you're good at. So um, I advise my friend to try and you know at least sell something that will attract. You understand? So I have a couple of friends that say a lot of things. I have a friend that does chim 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 chim. This she does too. So we can also do when we can also use our own hand to like use our own um, hand to make our own markets, like selling things, like fine chin chin. I'm not. It's not a bad thing. You understand? Fine chin chin. Uh, making peanuts. There are a lot of things we can use our hand. So we can start with that too. We can start with that too. Oh, it's one thing to start a business and it's also one thing to understand the rudiments of starting a business or staying in business. You start up changing, you start up clothing, handmade craft. There are some things you have to put in place, more like a foundation to be able to make sure that business thrives. One of which is social media because with the invent of social media, a lot of things have been made easy. So what are those things one needs to know just before starting up this business, just so you don't start up and at the point where you get frustrated and seems like nothing is working, you relent. What are those stuff, those rudiments you need to know first of all? Okay, having contacts. Contact, okay. It's very important because I will know like Instagram, to me, Instagram is not really moving like WhatsApp. I have more audience on WhatsApp than Instagram. I don't know, I don't know some people, but for me, it's, WhatsApp is for, the best for me. So having more contact, you don't have, you know, Okay, having contact on your phone doesn't mean that you want to chat with everybody. Your views matters. You understand? You can have like post something. You can have like two hundred views. So probably you can also do um, probably chatting a friend. Want like send them that okay, please follow my or I sell this. Can you share? You understand? So it worked for me in that way. I do that once in a week. I'll just like chat most of my friends that they should please help me share. Okay, I have new new items. You understand? Audience matters. That's just having contacts. But for Instagram, it doesn't because I don't have follow. Hello. So, okay. Hello. Okay, I think um, we have issues with the network there. But she was talking about um, the need to be visible. You know, On social marketing. Media as well sharing with your friends basically just trying to put your goods and services out there for people to see i would have loved to hear opinion on other um forms of businesses yeah. you know there's drop shipping that wouldn't require much um that wouldn't require funds when it comes to that hello yeah I'm here. oh okay, okay. Uh, right, we have that it's back. good to have you back um yeah, yeah so you're you. talking about um visibility um leveraging on friends and um loved yes. ones your yes. contact yes Yes. Okay, so, um, so uh, shoot, you okay. have the floor. Okay. So that's it. Like, so most times it's very, very, very good to have friends that can help, that can support. You understand? It's not just having contact, not just calling them friends. So most at this point, friends are there to help you by sharing your contacts, trying to get more. Before you know, you start seeing people chatting, hello, I, I, I saw something I like. How much is it? You understand? So having contact. Okay. Okay. Um, network issues there again, again. but um, the, the point of um, leveraging on friends and family is th their contacts list so as to you know um, expand the the um, audience you have in terms of marketing your business. Um, I, I would like to have heard them um, maybe when when we, we get her back. You know, yeah. I would like to hear an opinion about drop shipping as well. That's something that um, quite a handful of folks go into without. Hello. Are you there? Okay, well, before she comes in, I think that aside social media, she dwells so much. Hello? Oh, she dwells so much on the need for social media. But then there are other parts, like I mentioned, the rudiments mm -hmm. of the, the things you need to know before going into this business, just so you don't get stuck. Hello? And, hello? Yeah, hello. Okay. Yeah. Good to have her. you back. Go yeah. Continue. Continue. Yeah, thank you. So that's it. Like, getting contacts. Okay, like chat, like most times when you want to, what you just do, you just do a BC. Okay. Do a BC. <laughs> okay. Um, for, for those who, um, let me ask you this. For those who have um, soft skills, probably, you know, they, they, they know how to make airs or they're good with, um, you know, the basic tailoring skills and what have you. 
Um, how do you suggest or recommend that they go about setting up their businesses with little capital? Please come again. I said for those who have soft skills, like hair making, okay. um, being able to make clothes, tailoring, um, how do you suggest that they go about setting up their businesses with little capital? Okay. Um, about that. Okay, about me selling now. I'm trying, why well, I'm giving examples because I have, um, I've already, okay, I learned how to make clothes. Okay. You understand? I learned how to make clothes before selling. So I just do, I, I try to involve myself in different activities like selling. Most times I sell, sometimes I just mix it. I sell female things, I sell male things. I, I make clothes as well. So what I do is start with the cheaper materials. Yeah. I don't know. There are cheaper materials which you can sew. You can sew different styles. You understand? Sew different styles. I like can get material. Of, there's material of one five. There's material of three hundred. There's different. So the the issue, the 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 most important thing is getting the right style. Try to put in your best. You understand when it comes to sewing. Because you can't just say you're a tailor and you're not really showing them, okay, this is what you're what good you at. Most okay. times it's, it's what your your talent matters. Like, okay, you're not just sewing the way other tailors are sewing. I hope you're getting me. You understand? Show your best. You understand? Try and show them the right style. So after that, you will have to, it's still the same thing like posting. You have to learn how to post and write caption. It's very important. I will not okay. lie to you. Writing caption. It's not only by posting. You also know how to cap write caption about, okay, well, I have this particular, okay, I make the style. Or probably you bring a name for it. You understand? So it matters. That caption is really, really very important. And having contact, I will not lie to you. That's the most important thing. Because you cannot just okay. the most okay, if you're trying to if you're if you're trying to sew something for female. The very important thing is make sure you have more of female audience. Like you understand, try and make more friends with female. Oh. But like me, I'm selling male things, so I have male contact on my phone than female. I'm sorry, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Not because of I want to start with them, but because of what I'm selling, what I'm. So if I want to, okay, I'm post. Okay, I have the sneakers. It's very beautiful. Oh, okay, it's it's made of made of this. You understand? Not you don't put same caption you're seeing from other people's status. You have your own caption to put. You understand? Make bring that, like make them have that. Let them look it twice. Like, okay, I think this guy is kind of making sense. Let okay. me give it a try. Let me see what's so special about this thing that she's even talking that she's praising. You understand? Yeah. You have to uh, in business. You have to have sweet mouth. <laughs> I, I feel that that word is yeah. Common, right. it's, it's known to everybody. Right, now, so have sweet mouth. Now setting up a have business. Sweet setting up a business. You have your contact, mm. you have your, of course, people that would buy, people you buy from, you have your social media yeah. platform. Yes. Is, is that all to setting, a, setting up a business with little or no cost? Because I, I still strongly believe that there are some things you need to know to be able to okay. have a successful or run a successful business irrespective of how much you used in setting up that business. So. After all of those things, you're sure of your contact, you're sure of social media platforms. What are other things you need to know just so that your business, you don't set up a business with the little fund you have, and then after the long run, you end up regretting or it, because it doesn't, of course, not every, every business is not a bed of roses. So sometimes you yeah. have return of investment, other times everything is going down the drain. So what are those things you need to know and have at the back of your mind why setting up a business with little or no cost? Okay, um... You have to be very friendly. Learn how to, you know, learn how to talk to customers. You understand? You have to be very, very friendly. You know, they used to say that customers are always right. Sometimes you will have customers that are always annoying. I will not lie to you. Yeah. After stressing you from morning till evening, send them pictures. They okay, this buy. is what you have. Hello, are you there? Hello, Hello. 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 You well, know, you know, I understand from her point of view, you know, you have customers who are exactly. really, 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 we're not using the word annoying, but amazing customers where you send pictures, they tell you 30 minutes of the night and, and then they tell you they get exactly. back to you, which they never do get back to well, you. Well, I, I think that's very a good place to actually wrap it up because she has um, said quite a handful of things and 
you yeah, know, she's one needs to just get a final thought. Um, hello, Blessing, are you there? I'm here. I'm here. Okay, so let's have your final thoughts just as we wrap up the conversation. Okay. The floor is yours. Shoot. Okay. Um, you, uh, as a business person, you have to know how to communicate with your customers. You need to be very nice. No matter what, no matter how stressful they are, you just have to tell them, yes, my, yes, sir. You understand tell them okay how are you how are you doing no, sometimes customers are always insultive i would not like to you they have most of them i i i have them on my list. you understand you show your anger it's very very important and you know how to communicate with them try and tell them how are you doing hope you're fine Hope you're good. Okay. Uh, you can also remind them that, okay, you, you told me about, you know, that some customers want to buy something from you. And they will, after telling them that you have this, they might not respond to you. So don't read your message and leave it. But at the same time, you can as well chat them up that, okay, this is what you have. Okay, I posted this on my status and you asked of this. Right. Hello? Yes, yeah, with you. Uh, with you. you. Just more like a reminder. That's what I'm trying to say. To what did customers. you say? You're trying to um, advocate that there should be co uh, regular um, reminders sent to... Yes. Um, yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. So Thank remind you. them that, okay, you asked to, for me to get this. You still want to buy it. So communication matters. Like, not to talk to them. Put smile on their faces. Because I'm really good at it. Oh, but it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy, honestly. Thank it wasn't you. easy. Because most... Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't easy. But thank God. So that's it. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome.